Starting on Sunday, The World at War. This highly acclaimed documentary series traces the rise of Nazi Germany and the reactions of its people and the world. Conservative anti-Nazis took comfort from the fact that their old war leader Hindenburg, still head of state, was known to despise the vulgar little corporal. In March, when the Reichstag voted to allow Hitler to govern without parliament, Hindenburg made no comment. Hitler proclaimed the new Germany and meant it to last a thousand years. Es lebe unsere Bewegung! Es lebe unser deutsches Volk! The World at War begins on Channel 4 this Sunday at 7.15. Pills with a smooth taste. Seek out the lager of Lamont. More than anywhere in the high street, one place means more at Christmas. More choice for the little ones, small popples, $8.99, and the not so little Lego Castle Lion, $22.95. More quality, Petite Typewriter, $15.95. More value, more games, scruples, eleven seventy-five. More toys than ever before. Christmas means more at Woolworths. Books from Bossini. E.V. Thompson's West Country. Over 100 photographs, 55 in colour, £5.95. Secret West Country, £3.75. Monica Wyatt's 100 Years in Somerset, £3.90. Sally Jones' Mysteries in the Somerset Landscape, £3.50. Available at bookshops. Over on ITV, Eamon Andrews is just about to spring a surprise in This Is Your Life. Here on 4 at 8.30, the new Enlightenment looks at the family and education and argues how it is that some social groups fare better than others. Now, though, with the time at 7 o'clock, we join Peter Sissons for this evening's Channel 4 News. <laughs> Hello, good evening. What else didn't the President know? Washington braces itself for further revelations. As America's Attorney General says there were others involved in the Iran arms scandal and promises that if they've done anything criminal, they'll be prosecuted. The world, however, may have to wait as the United States virtually closes down for the annual Thanksgiving. And the President may give thanks for the breathing space as today he was able to ignore the encircling media and talk Turkey of a different kind. Tonight, the big questions that are still unanswered about the shadowy role of the CIA and the money trail from Iran to a Swiss bank. And did those millions ever reach the rebels they were intended for? Also tonight, what price now an early settlement of the teachers dispute? We examine the impact of the overwhelming rejection today by the Scottish teachers of the deal on offer to them. Plus, Lord Rothschild and the security services. The Attorney General considers allegations that he breached his obligation to secrecy. A stunning blow to shipbuilding in Scotland. 1,500 jobs axed at the biggest and oldest yard on the Clyde. And a special report. 50 years after the death of King George V, his own doctor's account of how he ended the King's life. This is what the nation was told 